Is there a piece of advice you would give to CEOs and others in the room in when you were in the battle? Is there something that you learned either about yourself or about that you can share with us that would give people courage to, you know, fight on to really go the course because long-term vision for companies is a lot of times hard to support out there in the marketplace when activists are after you. So yeah, so I'd I mean, love to learn from your experience. So one of the things is one of my advisors, a phenomenal, phenomenal person, Joel Frank, um, who, who was very instrumental in getting my head in the right place a lot of times when it just wasn't, would whisper in my ear, if it feels good, don't do it. Wow. Very disappointing, wow. I might add, because there are a lot of times, there are a lot of things that I really wanted to do, but I didn't. And she was absolutely right. When they go low, we go high. You just didn't, you didn't deal with it on their level. And, you know, and I had a really strong team who wanted to defend and wanted to that, but we played it. We didn't go on CNBC. We didn't do that route. We took it to our shareholders yeah, and, and very clearly focused on the shareholders. And this went low. You found at one point that they were going through your garbage, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. I mean, full-page ads in the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal saying what a terrible person I was. Wait until your adult children call you and say, Mom, why are you on page A6? It's like, yeah, not for a good reason, you know? What have you done?